My new book is called Steve McCurry Untold, the story behind the pictures. Uh, this is very exciting for me because it's really a very different kind of book than I've ever done before. It's a book looking at how I work, the backstory, really my process, digging into my archive and getting pictures and documents and ephemera that really haven't been, I haven't looked at for, in some cases, 20 or 30 years. I think one of the most exciting stories I worked on was the monsoon. When I was a child, I remember seeing the work of Brian Brake, who had done a story on the monsoon for Life magazine back in 1962. And it really stuck in my imagination that at some point in my life, I wanted to go and experience that phenomenon, that, that incredible rain. Sort of fast forward uh, 30 years, I found myself uh, a photographer, and I thought back to that story um, of the monsoon. I thought, you know, I really want to, in a way, reinvent that story and, and do it in my own way. During my monsoon coverage in India, I learned that there was this uh, terrible flood in one of the cities in Gujarat. So I got a flight, and to my horror, I saw that three quarters of the city was underwater. People were living on their roofs. They had no fresh water. They had no food. So I set about documenting uh, this situation. I literally spent the entire day walking around up to my waist or my chest in water. And the water was uh, very dirty and full of you know, dead animals. And it was very disgusting. But it was fascinating how people persevere, how they can live through these situations and actually cope and, and do quite well despite this uh, kind of very, uh, you know, difficult circumstance. During the monsoon in Bombay, I, I was in a taxi at a red light and this mother and her child came up to my car window looking for some money. Uh, this all happened in about seven or eight seconds. I raised my camera, I, I quickly took two frames I brought my camera down, uh, the light changed, and off we went. Well, two months later, I'm editing my pictures at the magazine, and I came across these two frames, and I was really delighted that the picture came out as well as it did, and it really seemed, in a way, symbolic of kind of my world and her world and the contrast. I'm in this air-conditioned bubble. She's out there in the elements, the, the heat and the rain and how these two worlds uh, came together for a moment and, and then suddenly we, we left and I, we drove off and that was the end of the story. This is a very exciting project for me because it's really for the first time I'm getting into the backstory, t telling uh, the, the stories about how the pictures were made, how they were published. We have uh, tear sheets and, and magazine spreads and newspaper spreads on, on, on how these were actually ended up being used in publication. It really is a kind of comprehensive look at, at my career and really how I put these stories together. I'm very proud of what we've accomplished and uh, I'm hoping that the, the book gets a, a great response.